Uh, hey everybody, it's Cheryl Lawson, social media Tulsa here with Becky McCray. You can follow her at Becky McCray on Twitter. Uh, she is our esteemed keynote speaker for the upcoming Social Media Tulsa Conference on March 24th. Welcome, Becky, to part two of our conversation about part social media. <laughs> <laughs> part two. So uh, I, we, we're starting to talk about social media for small business. And yeah. kind of the question of why it's important for somebody who's not, you know, uh, Kodak or, you know, larger company to be in the space of, of social networking. It's, it goes back to the things that we talked about in part one, which is it's all people. It's all personal. Small business is nothing but a whole bunch of people working together to try to do something meaningful. There's the people in your business. But there's also the people that you're trying to work with and the, pe the clients and the people that you help, your customers. You're doing something for them that's meaningful. So it's all personal. And that's why these tools that work so well personally also work so well for business. And especially for small business. In small business, we're used to taking care of our customers on a one-to-one -one personal basis and getting to know people and knowing their preferences and trying to serve exactly what they need. And that makes perfect sense for social media where we can learn a little more about those people, find out what they like and don't like, and better serve their needs. And it's <laughs> the networks that we built in and around town. We built our networks based on who we went to school with, who we connected with every day, who we saw at the coffee shop. We do more things in our work and life that keep us on the move, but we don't have as much opportunity to catch up with everyone that's important to us. So... Connecting online just adds another layer of connection for people that we've kind of lost in the way our society works right now. Right. The second thing is that small town people have kind of dispersed and are out and all over. And so you in Tulsa know lots of people who came from small towns. And there are people all over that have come from small towns wherever and have been dispersed and, and now live wherever all over over the world. You know, I joke about Alva that we go places and we'll see people anywhere on the face of the earth. We'll run into someone with a connection. It's the darndest thing. But trying to connect and, and maintain those connections across distance makes a second reason that it's really important for small towns to use these kind of tools to maintain those connections even as people have moved away. Um, and also for people that have moved in and want to break into a social network, sometimes it's hard to break into a small town and get to know folks. Mm -hmm. If you get, if you friend them on Facebook, you're going to find out a lot about them pretty quickly. And that and just makes it that much easier to break into a small town and get to know people. Absolutely. And I would say in any community, whether it's a small town or medium-sized town, if, if you, by connecting with people, you know, we have our own meetup group and there are tons of people meeting up and tweeting up. Uh, around whatever their interest is and around kind of just you know, meeting people who, you know, who've just moved in or just connecting with a group of people who share a common interest. So I think that's really important and I, I really agree with you on that. So uh, kind of give a little tease about what you're going to share with us on March 24th in your keynote. Okay, so, you know, what the heck am I going to say? <laughs> I am going to bring some of the message that Barry Moltz and I are taking to South by Southwest. And that is a lot about what every business can now learn from rural entrepreneurs and small town business. Because if you think about it, a lot of the change that's happened in the past decade or so has made the world a lot more like a small town. Suddenly, every one of your customers can talk to every other one of your customers. And that is just like a small town. Mm -hmm. The economy has become a huge issue. A lot of people are finding resources to be very tight, and the economy is uh, restricting what people are able to do. And that is a lot like a small town. A number of small towns have dealt with down economies and tight resources for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then an, another way that it has changed is you've, you've noticed all the shop local and local foods and the whole movement of being aware of your local economy and connecting locally and then also more of an emphasis on smaller businesses. And let me tell you, that is just like a small town. So it now makes sense to go to small towns and look at the businesses that have succeeded to see some of the techniques that work really well in the larger economy now 
that they have been developed and honed in practice. In okay. It's especially relevant for everyone now. Sorry. We have to... The doorbell rang and so the dog is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... I, I was going to put a sign that said don't ring the doorbell, but I thought nobody's coming. <laughs> That's all right. It is just like a small town, isn't it? This is just like a small town. I'm telling you. That is. That's perfect. It's actually a game we play with the dog to give her some excitement. Whenever we come home, we ring the doorbell so she can have some fun. <laughs> but... Anyway, I, I love the fact that you're uh, going to share those things with us. I think that's something that uh, everybody can share. I, I hate that I'm going to miss uh, South by Southwest. I think it's, you know, it's one of the best conferences these days, and how it's grown is just an amazing feat and another testament to these tools and how the word has gotten out about South by Southwest and Austin, Texas. So hopefully Tulsa... We'll be on, on that path very soon as well. So people will be talking about Tulsa and whatever we're doing here as well. So uh, any last words, anything else you want to share about uh, why people should come to uh, Social Media Tulsa Conference on March 24th? You know, it's a lot of the same reason that people should want to go to South by Southwest, and it kind of goes back to being a small town reason, which is face-to-face -face connection makes it completely different. You and I have tweeted, we have emailed, but we've never talked face-to-face -face until just now. And I already have a better sense of who you are and what you're like. But I can't wait until I get the chance to see you in person, because I know I'll get so much better of a sense of who you are. Not to mention the fact that I'm going to learn a lot from all the other speakers. I've looked at that speaker lineup, and it is outstanding. We're going to have great speakers. It's a great chance to, to connect with people that maybe you only know as avatars. You're going to connect with people you do not know. You're going to meet new people. And I promise you, every time you take the effort to get yourself outside your house, outside your normal routine, take the effort to break what you do every single day and go someplace new, make new connections, you grow as a person. It changes who you are. And so it's definitely worth the effort to go, whether it's to Social Media Tulsa or if you go and immerse yourself in the mass craziness that is South by Southwest, which everyone should do once. Absolutely. But I tell you, you learn more and you, you connect more deeply at an event that is on a human scale like this event is going to be. You'll have Thank you so much, Becky. I appreciate your time and that you took with us. And I'm going to do both se sections of our conversation because we had some great, some great content and really good information out there. So... Uh, look for it at, on our Vimeo page and on YouTube at Social Media Tulsa. So thanks, Becky. Have a great day and go bail, go haul hay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm off to go haul hay. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.